This video is brought to you by Jurassic World Alive, the game. These real-life dino facts, uh, found a way. On to the big screen. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fascinating dino facts that inspired Jurassic World. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at real-life scientific discoveries that played a role in shaping this beloved film series. Number 10. The T-Rex had a killer bite force. The franchise's iconic T-Rex demolishes Jeeps, lawyers, and even the Indominus, with a little help. Considering the fact that Tyrannosaurus Rex translates roughly to Tyrant Lizard King, her awesome strength feels appropriate. The might of her killer bite has not been exaggerated. T-Rex had the largest bite force of any known creature to ever walk the Earth. Estimates of this force have ranged from 8,000 pounds to a colossal 50,000. Compare that to our own bite force of about 200 pounds or to a crocodile's at 3,700. While the latest computer models suggest a figure that's closer to the bottom end of that estimated range, that is still a staggering and literally bone-shattering bite. Number 9. Intelligence varied drastically between species. Clever girl. Though bones had been found earlier, it wasn't until the 19th century that humankind really discovered the existence of dinosaurs. And for a long time afterward, the default assumption was that these massive creatures were dumb lumbering giants. We now know that, much like in our modern-day animal kingdom, there was a wide range of intelligence on display. In the absence of live specimens to study, researchers look to brain size relative to body size as a measure of intelligence. They range from minuscule, as in the case of the Stegosaurus, to fairly generous, as with T. rex and Triceratops. Some scientists even claim that certain species would have been intelligent enough to respond to training. Okay. Good. Number 8. Dino Poop Holds Answers I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. In the original Jurassic Park film, Laura Dern's Dr. Ellie Sattler enthusiastically dives hands-first into a massive mound of dinosaur droppings in order to diagnose a sickly triceratops. It might be gross, but fecal matter is actually a great tool to learn about an animal's health and lifestyle. This applies to both living creatures and extinct ones. You can bet that modern scientists would love to get their hands on some fresh dino droppings, but given the impossibility of that, the next best thing is fossilized poop, also known as coprolites. They are rare, but when we do find them, they not only help us understand dino diets, but also to paint a better picture of local flora and fauna from the time. Number 7. Mosasaurus Teeth Zach, it's a Mosasaurus! In Jurassic World, the park scientists have been getting creative with DNA because regular dinosaurs are apparently not dangerous and terrifying enough. Just look at the mouthful of teeth on the Mosasaurus. Surely that's the result of genetic tampering, right? Well, prehistoric Mosasaurs might not have grown as large as Dr. Henry Wu's creation in Jurassic World, but they did have a double row of teeth that protruded from the roof of their mouths, which made it easier to hold onto struggling prey. Perfect for dragging down difficult catches or for scooping up hapless passers-by. Number 6. Dinosaurs were actually social animals. They're communicating. We often think of dinosaurs as solitary and aggressive. It's a misconception that was especially common before Jurassic Park brought us raptor packs and gallimimus herds. As in the movies, however, many of these terrible lizards were probably social creatures, just like the animals of today. Paleontologists have discovered fossil evidence of dinosaur nesting grounds and parental care. There are also indications that dinosaurs travel together in herds and flocks. This is true of both herbivores, or veggiesauruses, and carnivores. Tracks in British Columbia seem to reveal the movements of a T. rex pack, pure nightmare fuel. They do move in herds. Number 5. Indominus rex. Not so far-fetched. We use strands from their DNA to adapt her to a tropical climate, but… Genetics is one of the most exciting and quickly developing scientific fields. For the time being, we are nowhere near close enough to being able to craft our own designer species, but it could very well be on the distant horizon. And although the Frankenstein dinos of the Jurassic World movies may seem far-fetched, they may actually be more plausible than dinosaur clones. 
If paleontologists could somehow recover dino DNA, it would likely be extremely fragmented. So in order to get something resembling a dinosaur, you might need to get creative, splicing together DNA from different animals. Many of them would look quite different, but you didn't ask for reality. You asked for more teeth. I never asked for a monster. Monster is a relative term. Number four, baby dinosaurs look very different from their adult counterparts. By taking us into an already functioning family destination, Jurassic World really expanded the in-franchise universe, fully fleshing out the idea of a dinosaur theme park. One of the film's most memorable attractions was its gentle giant's petting zoo, where kids could get up close and personal with various baby dinosaurs. However, you might notice that the dinos look rather different from their adult counterparts. As Daniel Barda, PhD student in paleontology at the American Museum of Natural History has pointed out, dinosaurs go through substantial anatomical changes between infancy and adulthood, which we see on full display in Jurassic World. Lift me up, I can't see! I'm not dad, you're not five. Number three, the T-Rex was a caring parent. Infant's probably only a couple weeks old. Never left the nest. Tyrant Lizard King might not be the sort of name that inspires confidence in an animal's parenting abilities, but leading hypotheses suggest that Tyrannosaurus rex really stepped up when it came to raising their young. As previously stated, the T-Rex was an intelligent dinosaur, and that intelligence apparently translated into solid caregiving. With those short arms and its relatively small size at birth, a juvenile T-Rex was vulnerable after hatching, meaning that as a parent, the Tyrannosaurus rex had to be incredibly attentive in order for its offspring to reach maturity. So yeah, kidnapping a baby T-Rex would in reality be a pretty terrible idea. Number two, the hunting style of raptors. Velociraptor's a pack hunter, you see. He uses coordinated attack patterns and he is out in force today. In Jurassic Park, Dr. Alan Grant describes Velociraptor hunting tactics. The cooperative strategies of these clever girls allows them to outwit even the most well-trained, armed-to-the-teeth human foes. But did raptors really hunt in packs? There is some debate, but support comes from fossil remains of Deinonychus, which inspired the franchise's depiction of velociraptors. Skeletons and teeth from multiple Deinonychuses at kill sites have led some paleontologists to speculate that the predators work together to bring down prey, much like modern-day wolves. Proponents point to trackways that seem to show raptors traveling together in groups. <laughs> Number one, dinosaurs evolved into birds. Well, maybe dinosaurs have more in common with present day birds than they do with reptiles. Our understanding of dinosaurs is constantly evolving. Though the term dinosaur means terrible or great lizard, modern researchers have come to see the similarities between dinosaurs and birds. Bird! In fact, birds are, in a sense, living dinosaurs. Genetically speaking, dinosaurs actually have a lot in common with chickens. So much so, in fact, that some scientists think chickens would be our best bet at bringing them back, slowly flipping genetic switches until we got something as dinosaur-like as possible. Turns out life really does find a way, surviving in new forms against all the odds. Now look at the half-moon-shaped bones on the wrist. It's no one of these guys learn how to fly. <laughs> 